So can someone be clean? Amy McDonald again. Now they do get into that space. The one-on-one -on -one you spoke about. And McWilliams was too good for Brown on that occasion. She now they're going to get numbers yeah, in. Yeah, might be too far out, though, into the breeze. So we'll just set it up to the top of the square. Dogs have got plenty of numbers back. And the mark taken there by Elise Gamble back into the side. Yeah, game high six for her. Ferris with four and Lynch with three for the Dogs. And they've turned the ball over here, the Dogs. Lynch's kick was a poor one. Geelong have got numbers streaming forward. Webster has to think her way through it. She doesn't blaze the way. Although it doesn't sit for Ferris and it might sit for Kearns. She's got some numbers around. Just again, another little fumble and that's enough. In that game against the Crows. Geelong have got kick. numbers everywhere inside 50, so it was a clever kick. Saw the space, found Lamb, and again she drills a low ball. That's better ball movement by the Dogs. That's what Berkey was after. And Bonnie Toogood will have a shot from 25 out. Can Toogood, who's fixed up her kicking in recent weeks, can she get the goal? She can. Gets the Dogs off to the perfect start in this quarter. Into the breeze. She gets her first. Geelong have flooded a lot of numbers back, so try not to just blaze away. Fitzgerald will go to the top of the square. Georgia Stathis, front and square. Back to Blackburn. Normally so dangerous around goal. Well done, Geelong. Got the smother in again. And again a fumble. And this time it might hurt them because the dogs will go inside 50. Hartwig in front. Well done, McMahon. Can they fight again here, the dogs? They can. It gets to Georgia Stathis. The handball from too good. And they make them pay eventually. Morrison, Ivy, here's a chance, although Fitzgerald saved the day with a strong tackle. Oh, that's dropping the ball. Seen less pay for holding the ball. <laughs> it's stiff. Unlucky there, Nina Morrison. So a bit of a tactical battle now. Webster, again, just had a little fumble and was a bit slow to get the hands free. There's Crockett Grills again on cue. What a start to the third turn for her going on ball. Webster had nowhere to go. Grant, a bit of drive off half back, and here they go again. And now Lamb's able to get on her left boot. Goes into the pocket, looking for too good. We spoke about her contested marking prowess. Well, we'll get an update from Kath Durkin shortly, whether it's still as strong as it was to start the game. And there is too good again. Another nice mark. And she's going to get a 50 because she feigned a play on. Young Maloney fell for it. Oh, took one step. Also had the goal assist to Georgia Stathis. Been in everything. From straight in front, she makes no mistake this time. And the Dogs now skip out to a handy 23-point lead. She's just going to find Amy McDonald every stoppage she can and see if Julia Crocker Grills will still go with her. Yeah, tried to make the 2v1. There is Blackburn and McDonald. Couldn't quite affect it on that occasion. And a chance here for Geelong, although Fitzgerald, terrific tackle. She could have taken a good 10, 15 metres straight through the middle of the ground and then maybe got that ball out the back. There is Shear. Can she get the first goal? Off one step. What a finish. Inside 50, the Cats. It's going to go to Mick Williams in a one-on-one. -on -one. Mick Williams read it best. Used the body beautifully on the younger Grant and took a nice contested mark. There's a free kick holding against Shear up the ground against Katie Lynch. It's a good call. It was the right call. Dragged her arm as she was trying to cut, tick back to the leg. And Phoebe McWilliams has got her seventh goal of the season. Seven goals won. But more importantly, it gets them back within 12 points. And that might be enough because McWilliams will read it. Got the handball. Webster will kick it to grass. How will it bounce? Crockett Grills and Ferris. Crockett Grills and Ferris. Who's going to win the contest? Crockett Grills couldn't quite. <laughs> But the Dogs have had enough experience, enough composure, and enough good players like this woman, too good. And this one, Lamb. And this one, Blackburn. The three of them again work together beautifully. And when those three get the footy, good things happen. Put a bit of icing on the cake. This will be a tough kick into the breeze from the pocket. He's given it an awful good attempt. And in the end, the Dogs get the job done by 12 points. They win two in a row. And they're just lurking outside the top six.